Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, welcome back to the series I teach you how to build a Discord.py bot for your server. Today we are tackling more of the requests. It's been a while since I request for this series, but of course with the timing and everything and the Discord.py music series, it's been a little bit hard to timetable these, uh, this in. There are a few things that have changed. Uh, as you can hear, I, I sound a little better. We're still using the same ID, of course, just because it's easy to work with. But um, the tutorial uh, category here has changed. You can see this junk channel is now kind of where everything goes. I, I changed this for the voice series and kind of forgot that I would need a lot of these channels still here. So here we are. The server also does look a lot different, but that's not really important to the tutorial. <clears throat> So today we are doing an unban command, which has been a, f a fairly popular request ever since I did the ban video. Um, I didn't do an unban uh, command at the time, so we're going to do one now. So what we need to do is we need to come into our mod cog, and well, I actually need to talk about one or two things before we before we go into it. So there is uh, something that I didn't really talk about in huge detail in the in the series called a converter. Now we did use converters, so around here. Uh, there we go, this targets use the converter, this uh, technically used the converter. And all these things around where basically you pass in like an object or type hint annotations um, and it just gets automatically converted to the correct thing and then you could do extra error handling and it's all well and good. Uh, but we never really talked about making custom converters because it was never really a thing that we needed to do. And you don't technically need to do it in unbanning either. However, it is, I believe, the best way of doing it. So that is what we're going to do. So we're actually going to create that first. So uh, from discord.ext.commands, port cog, and greedy. And then we also need to import converter as well. Converter. And then we need to actually create our converter. So we're going to call it ban user uh, converter. The reason we... I suppose the main reason we never made a custom converter is because all the converters we needed already existed. That's kind of why. But uh, we can override the convert uh, method, and this is where we're going to write all our stuff. So we're going to be programming in. Oops. Uh, we're going to be programming in two different ways uh, to actually unban user. We're going to uh, be able to unban from ID, and we're going to be able to unban from a uh, username discriminator. So you have the free choice. So you could do if uh, ctx.guild.me.guild.permissions.banmembers. Uh, so that's just to check to make sure they have the correct permissions, because obviously uh, if the bot doesn't have the correct permissions, it's not going to be able to actually find any of these. So it's not going to be able to use the fetch ban. It's not going to be able to use the, the other thing. So we need to check that first. <clears throat> And then we're going to check to make to see if the arg, oops, uh, is digit. So this is a string method that basically says, is this a string full of numbers? And if it is, we can presume it's probably an ID. So we can try and return away ctx dot guild dot fetch ban. Oops, ban. There we go. Uh, Discord, oh my god, I cannot type today, to object, and then I believe id equals int arg, I think is what I've done here. It is indeed. And then we do accept, so if, if whatever, we can't find it, have we imported not found? We haven't imported not found. So we need to import not found here. So if the member wasn't found, which uh, a fetch call will raise a not found exception, we just need to raise bad argument, which I don't think we've um, imported either, so we need to go and do that. So I'm going to put that here, a bad argument. So we could just straight up raise an argument uh, or raise an, an error. We could uh, put like a, a ctx.send here, but it's probably a better practice we don't do that. So after we've done that, we've checked to make sure it's a digit, but what if it's not a digit? What if we are passing a username and discriminated combo? We need to come down here and we need to set band so that there are a different uh, number of ways you can do this, but this is the way I do it. So e.user for e in await ctx.guild.bands. Now ctx.guild.bands uh, returns a list of ban entries, and this ban entry is 
a named tuple, which is essentially an object. You can think of it as an object because it works the same. And this uh, object contains the user and the reason. So it have the, uh, the user got a band and the reason they were banned. In this case, we only want a list of the users. So we use this list comprehension statement to just grab the users out of this. However, that is actually kind of useful if you do want a command that outputs a series of bands and the reasons the user was banned, for example. If there are any banned users at all, so we can just do if banned and it will, and that will check that. Uh, we need to check to see if the user, which we're going to define as uh, in a find statement, which I'm going to import, uh, the find is quite similar to the get from Discord. You'll do utils import find, um, except it, it takes a method. It doesn't check by an attribute; it checks by a method. So we can define an anonymous method just by doing uh, by using lambda. And we're going to, well, I'll, expl I'll explain it um, once we've actually written it out because it'll be easier. So what we're doing here is for every uh, user in band, we are checking to see if this user, which is defined here as you, or the, or the string of uh, the string representation of the user, which is a, a username discriminator hybrid, so string of my account would be uh, parafoxia 1911 we're checking if that is equal to the argument that was passed in. So this is going to be case sensitive. There, is, there are ways of doing it. So you can do like if I've got lower and that, but as soon as you're passing a discriminate in any way, you kind of want that extra precision. In my opinion, you can always change it if you, if you so wish. But this line is essentially uh, checking to see if any user in band is equal to the argument we passed in. And if it is, then we define it as user. I think, yeah. Uh, so if that is not none, otherwise it will be defined as none, then we return the user. Else, uh, we raise a commands.bad, or actually it's not commands.bad, it's just bad argument. I think, I'm not sure, I think, I think this actually needs to be put there. Uh, I'm pretty sure. We can do if ban, I guess we could do if ban and and then user. Oh, actually, no. It's a, it's a separate check if someone's banned. Yes, yeah, so if, if there's no banned arguments, it just returns none. I guess that I guess that works. If you want it to return error, you could do like an, an else down here or something, but I'm not going to do that. So that is our converter. And now we have it, we actually need to code the unban function. So we're going to come down here. And it's going to be more or less the same sort of thing as the as the ban as the ban function we have down here. So we're going to have this ban members. I suppose we don't really need this because we're not doing any automatic bans. But um, actually, we we, uh, we are just going to have it all in one command, I think, because it's cleaner. Uh, so name unban pff, unban. There we go. Uh, and then we need to obviously make sure the bot has the permissions of band members equals true. And then make sure that we have the permissions or all those permissions as well. And an async def unban command self ctx targets. I guess you could pass multiple targets in. Yeah, I mean, uh, not that it would be a, a greedy ban user. And then we can have a reason. That is an optional string. That is no reason provided. Ooh, that's going way over. And we're essentially just going to uh, take this logic from here. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it here. So if there are no targets, then one or more targets are required. Otherwise, we can just take this and put this here. There are a number of things that we're going to need to change. So the first of which is this indentation. So we don't need to check. Uh, we don't need to do this check at all because the member is no longer in the server. So we don't need to check any permissions. We need to change this to say unbanned. We're going to leave this color because I can't be asked to change it, but you can change it should you want to. Uh, the target is a user, so they're not going to have a display name. So we can just do that. We also don't need this f string anymore in that case. Uh, action by is the same and reason is the same. And I think that's 
it's the target avatar URL works outside of members too. So I'm pretty sure that should be okay now. We'll see, we'll see. So we can now run the bot. Uh, another uh, thing that I've, I've changed that'd be different is we are now running uh, this under the music series uh, bot. The Carbretta bot is now being used for something else. If, if you've seen the new support uh, system we use for that, but I can't use the Carbretta bot for the series anymore because of this. So we're just gonna use the music series bot. I'm giving it 10 pound min so it will be able to do everything. I tell it to do, but um, yeah, just wanted to point that out as a thing. So, uh, do we have? Actually, let me try and ban my uh, my test account. Can I do that? Well, I can actually do ban. I, I'm not actually sure if the test account is in the server at the moment, uh, but I guess we're gonna find out. It was okay. So we have banned our test account, so we can now go in and we can look at the bans, and we can see. I'm going to ban here, XFRAP 6944. Testing, yes, my test account does have 69, it's discriminator. No, it's not Nitro, because why would it be? Um, so the first thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and unban uh, the account using the... Well, I'm actually going to unban it Use No, we're going to do this first. Uh, using its username and discriminator. So we're going to unban 6944 for testing uh, the unban. Something went wrong, interesting, there was an error. Uh, user object is no attribute back. Yes, okay, that's something I forgot to change. So, oh, I forgot. <laughs> All the things I forgot to change, I forgot to change this, the most important line. So yeah, user is no attribute ban. We uh, kind of messed up a little bit. So we need to do ctx.guild.unban and we need to pass in target, uh, which is our user, because obviously we get banned user. Uh, you can do that same syntax here, so you could do uh, await ctx.ban target. It's just easy to do it like that. If you're doing a hack ban and you need to do um, a... Uh, I think, actually, I might do a video about hack ban. Why not? Because uh, you don't need to change an awful lot, believe it or not, to do a hack ban. Uh, but yeah, to unban, you, you ha actually have to use the syntax. So that should work now. Um, we don't need to reban our account because it's already been reban. As you can see, there's junk. I'm going to mute this. Because I've just set everything, everything of all the other modules to go in that one channel. Uh, and I couldn't think of a better name, so I'll just call it junk. Uh, so we're going to try and do that again. So 6944, testing the unban. So I went wrong again. God, I'm doing really well. Message is not defined this time because it's CTX instead. Mm. I, I knew there was going to be a few. It's been, a, again, it's been a long time since I um, since I looked at this code. Uh, so I'm still getting used to how everything is and everything. I mean, it's not that okay, I, I, <laughs> I shouldn't have seen that or anything. I should really have seen that, but oh well. Uh, one or more required arguments is missing. Oh, the converter didn't fire properly. Oh, um... It seems the unban happened at some point. Hang on a second. Oh, the account did actually get unbanned. Oh, that's weird. Does it appear here? Remember banned, remember edit. No, interesting. Um, so I guess we'll ban the account again. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Oh, actually, I'll need to re-invite it then. Okay, I'll be back in one second. Okay, so our account is back in, so we're going to... Try this again, I suppose. Um, here we go, action complete. So we got them banned, and then the unban. Uh, just got to copy this and put it in. Oh, action complete. So it did complete this time. It must have completed a different time, but I just don't. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. But as you can see in the bans, SF Rap is no longer banned. So if I go into the junk as well, because it have all the logs here. So we have member banned. Um, and member unbanned. So we now un so we now have the, the member unbanned. So if I just quickly rejoin the server again, we'll be able to test with an ID. So an ID, it should work exactly the same. We just put unban ID. So if we do ban, oh, we, can, we can ban them by the ID now, I suppose. Uh, testing again. Action complete. Unban by the ID. Uh, testing. Unbanning by ID. Oops, it would help if we actually put a space there, 
Testing and banning by ID. One or more record arguments is missing. Uh, does it not appear at all? Are, they, are we still banned? Is it? We are still banned. Uh, the audit log yeah, says we're still banned. Interesting. So there's obviously something wrong with the way the ID works here. Oh, I see what I've done wrong. Okay, so what... <laughs> I'm kind of an idiot. What I did was I, I, I essentially just copied this converter from a different bot that I already have running, but it handles its imports differently to the way that this code does it. So this needs to be out, and we actually need to from Discord import object here, and then that should work now. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad entirely. Um, if you unbound by the ID, should oh we could get an error now uh ban entry has no attribute id interesting so we've messed something up uh fetch ban oh okay so we need to uh i'm guessing we need to do dot user there i'm, I'm guessing this object returns a ban entry object because this object is just it's a discord uh object that just finds anything and it just returns anything it can um, you don't tend to use it that often, but yes, it works. So I suppose we, I suppose that's returned a ban entry, and we need to give it user instead. One or more quad arguments are missing. It's still not finding it. Oh, hang on, wait, because oh no, we do it, we do, we do the thing in a different place. Okay, so we need to wrap this in parentheses, and then we need to put a dot user at the end. Uh, so this coroutine here, this entire coroutine in these parentheses is returning back a ban entry and we need the user for it. Uh, but we can't put, uh, we can't do this for example as this entire thing will be, uh, will be treated as the coroutine. So we need to actually specify parentheses to say that this is the coroutine and then we're getting the user attribute from whatever the coroutine returns, rather than we were trying to, to do this thing. It's a slightly odd syntax, but... Yeah, so if we do it now, it should work. Hey, there we go. So if we go into our audit log, uh, we'll be able to see... Let me use the series to remove the ban for so for app testing on banning by ID. As you can see, all this stuff is happening here with Solaris, allowing the... <laughs> And I'm testing how back end the music series banning them again. So yeah, that is an unban command. Better late than never, I guess. But yeah, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the description below. Or you can join a Discord server that I've obviously shown off in the video. Use the link in the description. While you're in the description, I recommend that you look at all my different socials. So I have a, a Facebook link, a Twitter link. If you want to go follow me on those, then feel free to do so. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you liked it, then say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but a really cool thing of you to do. With that in mind, I'd like to thank my super patrons, Darkie and Jackster, and I'll see you next time for whatever, I suppose. I haven't really got a proper plan in place yet because I've just started getting back into recording after moving in and everything, so... The videos are going to be a bit all over the place, but I'll see you for whatever we do next.